Members of the clergy, Minister of Education, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, Members of Parliament, Senators, distinguished guests, proud parents, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good evening. It gives me great pleasure to address you today as the outgoing primary school student of the year. I would also like to recognize the chairman, Ms. Cindy Williams Ramming, the distinguished panel of judges, the primary school student of the year foundation, and the various award committee members. And of course, Dr. Ricardo DeVoe, president, CEO, and the driving force of the Student of the Year Foundation. <laughs> Last but not least, a special welcome to the 2011 Primary School Student of the Year nominees. 2011 nominees. Last year I was exactly where you are, up there in those chairs. Nervous, but pretending I was relaxed. <laughs> it started off with me waiting for them to call my name. Then it turned to hoping that they call my name. <laughs> then it went to, are they gonna call my name? <laughs> and when they reached the top 10, I was screaming in my head, please, please, please call my name. <laughs> After they introduced the first runner up, I remember thinking my parents said they were proud of me, no matter what, and that I was always their winner. As Mrs. Bethel described the winner, it gradually dawned on me that she was introducing me I had won the Primary School Student of the Year Award. So I closed my eyes and thanked God. I had envisioned that exact same moment in my dreams. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, every dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and to change the world. Tonight, I would like to encourage all of the nominees to believe in the power of their dreams. We are all dreamers, and my parents have often told me, if you can dream it, you can do it. I dream sometimes I can fly, but I don't think that's what they're talking about. <laughs> the dreams I am talking about are the dreams which motivate us to be the best that we can be and to work hard to achieve each and every one of our goals. Dreams are like a map showing us the way forward. So I say, dream on, nominees. Don't be distracted if people make fun or dis say bad things about your dreams. Remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. And parents, please support your children's dreams. Be the encouragement and the support that they need to fulfill their dreams. And this evening, when the winner is called, I want all of you to know that every single one of you is a winner. And I would like to congratulate each and every one of you who was chosen to represent your school. That by itself is an excellent achievement. <laughs> the past year really has been a dream for me. My first act as primary school student of the year was to read the Prime Minister's address for the Independence Day celebrations at Rawson Square. I was also asked to read Twas the Night Before Christmas at the tree lighting ceremony where I got to meet the Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram, who gave me some words of inspiration. Continue to do well, he says. This made me smile, knowing that the person who runs these beautiful chain of islands called the Bahamas knows about me and encourages me. I was invited, along with my parents and Miss Lewis, the principal of Zavis Lower School, to meet the Governor General, Sir Arthur Folks. He was such a delightful host and shared some of his experiences with us. I would like to thank him for those great words of inspiration that he gave me. At St. Matthew's, my church, I had the privilege of introducing our commissioner of police, Ellison Greenslade, as a guest speaker at a youth service, as well as Bishop Leish Boyd at the consecration of our new parish hall. One of my dreams is to represent the Bahamas at the Olympic Games. Well, this Easter, I managed to get one step closer to my dream by representing the Bahamas at the 2011 Carifta Games held in Barbados. I swam several events. Although my times going in did not place me in medal contention, I still dreamed of a gold medal. Well, I did not get a gold medal, but I swam personal best times and received a bronze medal in the 50-meter breaststroke. 
which was also a qualifying time for the 2011 CC Can Games. I have now been selected to represent the Bahamas at the 2011 CC Can Games to be held in Puerto Rico this June. This year, I have also learned that a true winner is not someone who always wins. A true winner is someone who has lost, yet had the courage to get up and try again and again until he or she succeeds at whatever they're trying to do. Keep dreaming, nominees, and never give up. You have the heart of a winner, and a winner never quits. Nominees, when I say a winner, I want you all to say never quits. You all ready? You ready? A winner. Louder, a winner. Louder, a winner. That's right. A winner never quits. And don't you all ever forget that. So I say again, no matter if your name is called or not tonight, you are all winners. You made it here, the top 116 students in the Bahamas. Know that you have represented your parents, your church, and your school well, and you should be extremely proud of yourselves. The year has gone by so quickly. It's been so exciting. I met so many people and spoke at so many functions. My father says I am now more popular than he is. <laughs> Not sure I like being compared to a politician, but I think I understand what he means. I have already told Dr. DeVoe that I don't want to give up my position as primary school student of the year, but he just grinned and said it's someone else's turn now. Before I close, I would like to take a moment to honor the memory of our great educator, Dr. Keva Bethel, whom I had the privilege of meeting last year. God in his wisdom has taken her home, and she will truly be missed. May her soul rest in peace. I would also like to give special thanks to all those who made this such a wonderful and life-altering experience for me. I want to thank the Primary School Student of the Year Foundation and its various committees, the government of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, all of the generous sponsors, particularly BOSS, and the Gemini Consulting Services. I want to thank my parents, family, friends, teachers, and coaches who have always been there to support and encourage me. I want to say a special thank you to Dr. Ricardo DeVoe, who has become my new best friend. <laughs> there at the airport he was at 11.30 at night to congratulate me when the Carifta team returned home. Wow. What support and dedication. Dr. Ricardo DeVoe, I could have not made it through this year without you, and I truly treasure our friendship. Even though my time as primary school student of the year has now sadly come to an end, I will always be your student. You can always call on me to be of assistance to you and your foundation. Most of all, I want to thank God for blessing me in so many ways. Through him, all things are possible, and I am grateful for all the things he has done for me. Thank you for your attention.